Welcome to the mentoring program Shape the Future of a Researcher coming to Europe. We are very glad to have you on board and very much hoping you're going to have a beneficial and enjoyable experience. What is the mentoring program aim? The main goal of the program is to encourage cooperation between researchers from the European research area and Euraxis worldwide, third countries, and thus facilitate transnational mobility. The mentoring program encourages researchers to share knowledge, skills, expertise, and learn from each other's experiences establish an international collaboration with researchers that they ordinarily wouldn't have access to and gain valuable insight into how other research organizations work. Although the main focus of the program is early stage researchers coming from third countries willing to establish cooperation or pursue a career in Europe, the programme is also open to young researchers from Europe who are interested in collaboration or a career in third countries. Participation in the programme is voluntary. Researchers willing to participate in the programme should do so on a voluntary basis. What topics can be discussed during the mentoring relationship? There are six predefined topics of discussion. 1. Career counselling Directed at providing a researcher with the skills, knowledge and experience needed to excel in his or her chosen career path. Topics ranging from setting and achieving career goals, CV preparation, to how to apply for a faculty position, career paths inside and outside of academia, and more. Two publications and presentations, guidance and training in the preparation of manuscripts for scientific journals and presentations at conferences in the specific country, best practices. 3. Advancing professional networking opportunities, local organizational culture, building skills in communicating research, effective presentation skills, scientific publishing, human and animal research regulations, and more. 4. Introduction to open science policies. Introduce the mentee to open science policies on national and institutional level in the host country or host organization. Describe the main requirements and expectations for researchers in the specific domain. Identify good practices, available OS resources, educational websites, help desk and relevant materials. 5. Career opportunities outside academia. Present the specifics of a career path and available opportunities for researchers outside academia. Discuss topics ranging from CV preparation for a company context, how to find and how to apply for open positions in industry or business, available mentors and support programs from industry or business in the host country, and more. 6. Funding opportunities Information about the available funding programs, grants, awards for research and innovation, as well as doctoral and postdoctoral funding schemes, mobility grants. Guidance on how to find the relevant open calls, what to consider when applying, and any other relevant advice. Researchers are requested to work on at least three of these topics. It is up to them to choose on which topics they're going to work and whether they will choose to work on only three or more topics. Other topics can be included as per agreement by the mentor and mentee pair with the mentee driving the process. 
How long does the mentoring relationship last, and how often do we meet? It is required by the program to have at least six mentoring sessions within a minimum of six months. Therefore, you can decide on whether to meet once per month or more often. Please make sure at the very beginning of the mentoring to agree on a schedule on when to meet and how long each session will last. How do we meet? The mentoring process is virtual and you should choose a platform that is going to work for both of you. Do we need to keep in touch between mentoring sessions? Unless you have agreed to keep in touch, you are not expected to contact each other between mentoring sessions. What should we cover in the first mentoring session? It is important to discuss your expectations of the mentoring relationship at the very beginning of the mentorship. Usually, it is the mentee who defines what expectations he or she has and what he or she wants to achieve. However, the mentor can also suggest areas of development and topics of discussion which will support the mentee in achieving his or her goals. We suggest using the first meeting to break the ice by discovering connections between you, talking around career goals and accomplishments, and ensuring you have a clear agreement as to on what topics you decide to work, how you contact each other to arrange meetings, when and on which platform you will meet, who will be responsible for setting up meetings, and other practical matters. What about private issues and confidentiality? You should agree in advance if there are any issues you prefer not to discuss. You should respect the terms and conditions of the program as well as your personal beliefs and cultural differences. What if the mentoring relationship doesn't appear to be working out? We encourage you to discuss any issues directly with your mentoring partner and to try to solve them. If you feel that this is impossible and the relationship is not working out, please contact the mentoring program coordinator as soon as possible. Please note that once you have confirmed you are happy with your match, if you decide that you no longer wish to proceed for any reason, you might not be matched with another researcher. Do we need to submit any documents to the mentoring program coordinator? At the end of the mentoring relationship, you are requested to provide your feedback on your experience within the program by filling in an evaluation form for a mentee or for a mentor. The forms are anonymous and they are available on the links you see on this screen. Since this is a pilot program, your honest feedback is very important to us. It will provide us with an important insight into which aspects of the program researchers consider positive and what we need to improve in the future. At the end of this session, we would like to share with you some recommendations and good practices about mentoring. We hope that this can help you to set the right expectations about the mentoring program and to make it beneficial for both of you. We strongly believe that an international mentoring program can be a good opportunity for a mentor and a mentee to gain better international experience to enrich their network of professional contacts and their understanding of science. In fact, setting the right expectations is crucial for the rest of the program. This is the reason to start with several examples of what the mentoring program is not about. Based on our experience, most of the difficulties come from misunderstanding and wrong expectations of the mentees. Therefore, we would like to shortly share our key messages. Please remember 
that your mentor is not your PhD supervisor. Do not expect him or her to provide detailed feedback of your work. Your progress is your own responsibility. Taking part in a mentoring program does not provide a guarantee for your further success. You should not expect that your mentor will help you to get promoted or to get credibility in your work. Your mentor's role is to provide general advice in an international context. Remember that he or she does not recognize your specific situation, your institutional or national rules, or your narrow field of research. Mentoring is a two-way knowledge sharing process. It is expected that you both share your own experience and comments. There are several definitions about mentoring, but perhaps the most commonly used one is the definition given by Eric Parslow, the Oxford School of Coaching and Mentoring. Mentoring is to support and encourage people to manage their own learning in order that they may maximize their potential, develop their skills, improve their performance, and become the person they want to be. A mentor is usually an experienced individual who shares knowledge, experience and advice that will enhance a less experienced person's mentee, professional, personal and career growth. This partnership usually falls outside the line management structure of the mentee, providing an outside view and independent concept. One of the key benefits of mentoring is that it is based on informal and friendly knowledge sharing. It means that it is not formal, it is not official and institutionally set. However, in order to be useful, the mentoring process should be structured and focused on the topics of interest. Please set a program of joint interest and dedicate enough time to the topics that are important for your career development. As mentioned before, the mentor is not a personal coach. He or she can provide guidance and advice, but the mentee has the right to accept or not what and how to follow it. To establish a successful mentoring relationship, consider the following elements. Provide good advice to somebody who has just started their career. Help make contacts and professional relations. Share experiences, your own experience and lessons learned, do's and don'ts. Help with guidance and coaching. There are many benefits for both mentors and mentees. We hope that both of you can figure out and decide how to make it work for you. This mentoring program is voluntary, free and based on professional support. It is about sharing knowledge, widening possible research opportunities, building more professional relationships in an international context. On this slide, you can see some of the common mentor and mentee roles. Our advice is to ask questions, be active, share knowledge and experience, your struggles and victories, share how you have achieved your most valuable experiences, share good websites, conferences, research programs, funding opportunities, and everything that is relevant to a less experienced researcher's career. Be open-minded and accept comments and constructive feedback. Considering that this is an international program, it is important to stress that both of you share different cultures, languages and backgrounds. Lots of misunderstandings and situations when somebody can feel offended or hurt, can take place. So, 
please consider possible boundaries and things which you do not want to discuss. But first and foremost, respect your partner's culture and background. Treat the mentoring sessions and conversations as confidential. Be honest and respectful to the other. Respect cultural differences and try to overcome prejudices, misconceptions or misunderstandings. Be open-minded and forgiving because many problems can emerge just due to language differences and simple misunderstandings. In case of any problem, we would like to assist you to restore your partnership. Please tell us promptly if something gets wrong. Do not wait until the end of the program. We would like to be helpful and to support you in your efforts to make the mentoring program useful and fruitful for both of you. In the end, we would like to thank you again for enrolling in the mentoring program SHAPE the future of a researcher coming to Europe. We believe that you can establish very beneficial contacts and relationships with researchers all around the world. Remaining at your disposal for any questions and considerations, you can reach our team by sending a message to this email. Making progress in science is a global cause and all scientists work to make the world a better place. Thank you for being part of it.